Here we are, week five of the Lotus 79 Classic Lotus series here at Watkins Glen. 25 laps. We have, I believe, 20, 28 drivers here. I think everyone's gridded. Uh, car number 12, starting in P10. John Jarrett uh, starting over there in P9. And uh, uh, Macintosh and Spear are... There somewhere I think, I'm not sure. Somewhere over there, uh, they did, don't think they. I don't believe they. Uh, they qualified. So uh, yeah, see how we get on. Hopefully a nice, e calm start from everyone. See how we get on. Let's go. Let's open the door there for Thomas. He was coming through there. And I get when want to actually get to the finish and not uh, bin it on turn one, uh, lap one, if possible. Nice big grid tonight. Very popular tonight. Popular track, of course. One lap in the books. Oh, it's riding that curb. Thomas in front is hitting a few curbs. Never advisable in this car. You got it, boy, car on the right. Timothy Reed in trouble, I think. One of the fast guys. I don't know if he's damaged his car, but looks like he's getting going again. Shenanigans there. Ah, <sighs> going front slowed me down. Trying my best to stay out of danger. A little bit worried about those two side by side up there. Timothy and uh, Thomas. Ooh. 
Whew. Long race though, you gotta keep it calm. Nice and smooth. AJ Roper crashed into the wall there. May have got on the curb. Oof. Guy in front got hooked by that dodgy curb. He likes taking a lot of curb, this guy. You okay, Ben? Yep, yeah. oh, somebody just spun me in front of me. Yeah, I'm good. It's already like bad timing. Just trying to avoid uh, people that are a little bit uh, on the edge, let's put it that way. You get slowed by one. One cuts you up, slows you down, and you get kept past by another. See if we can follow Joel. Is, can anyone tell me, is John still up there? Oh, you won't know from my standings, will you? Right, come on, Ben. I don't think John's crashed or anything or spun. I haven't seen him, so he must be ahead there somewhere. I'm sure of it. Loving this car though, really love it. I know I, I say it every week. Oh, I'm there. Went a bit wide. Just went a bit too quick, I think. I must admit though, I did. I, I do know that every time a series has gone to Watkins Glen and myself and John have been in the race, it's, this is definitely one of his better tracks, if not his, I feel his best track in iRacing. He, go, he always goes really well here. As long as uh, you can avoid any craziness. Yeah, he goes really well here. Oh, there he is, P8. I can see him on my relative now. Good though. Five seconds ahead of me. Yeah, he's doing well, the lad. Doing well. Oh, easy. Still have the curb spent. Yeah, I went a bit hot into that last time, I think. Broke a bit late.
Don't get on that grass, Ben. Don't get on the grass. Oh my goody aunt, I just saw my lap time. That is my fastest lap time in a race ever. That's crazy quick. It must be cooler weather here today. Cristiano, he must have had one of the instance at the start. He's one of the, one of the fairly quite quick guys. He's out. I was staying with this Joel guy, uh, C Caesar. Caesar is pretty much staying behind me there, pretty much. Long race though, we're only, we're not even a third in, into the race. Go, go. Thomas Harding's gone. He's the guy that sort of dived in there at the start on me. Are oh, you third there, Ben? Are oh, you normally know used third? I wonder how Spear's getting on. Spear and Macintosh. Easy with that front. Yeah. So Ruben's got past John for 8th place, John's in 9th, Joel 10th, I'm 11th, Caesar in, uh, Caesar in, behind me in 12th. Starting to take shape. Oh, no. He's gone, he's gone. Joel's gone, he lost it. I don't know whether I was pressuring him, going a little bit quicker, I don't know. <sighs> but uh, that is probably the end of the race for Joel. You don't uh, survive those ones in the Lotus 79. Goodness. He was hitting a lot of curbs, I did notice, and uh, sometimes those curbs, they do unsettle the car quite a lot. If you catch one at the wrong moment, boom. Easy, 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 come on. Easy, Tiger. Hmm. 
that third, not second that time. Interesting. Just need to be consistent and smooth and hopefully just edge away from Caesar behind. He seems to be lapping a very, very similar pace to myself. Pretty much the whole race long. Yes, good numbers this week. Uh, is a popular track, Watkins Glen, I must admit. Uh, one of the more popular ones. But hopefully we'll get this in the coming weeks this much. Quite cool. People stay for the rest of the season. a little bit of a gap over Caesar. Keeping an eye on Robert uh, in P7. I don't know what sort of lap times Robert is doing, but I uh, don't know whether John and myself maybe catching him and Ruben catching him. I don't know. Here, I think Robert and Ruben might have a battle. I don't know whether they'll uh, whether they'll slow each other down. I think Ruben's just passed him. I'm wondering whether Robert's got a little bit of uh, arrow wing damage or something. He is pretty quick. Normally a little bit quicker than myself and John, I think. Ooh, a bit hot in there, Ben. <coughs> Jump in. Oh, thank you. I'm lucky. Hopefully, your car's okay. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. John had a bit of an incident, but it looks like he may well be okay. His car, I think, is still okay. Fingers crossed he can... I think he's got the pace for to hold off Caesar. Similar pace. Mm -hmm. See if I can try and make a dent in Robert, if I can, but... I don't know what lap times he's doing, but... I'm guessing... Quite a lot of 36s going on by Robert, I would imagine, but we'll, we'll see. See how we get on. We can do 36s as well. Maybe we'll pressure him. I don't know if I subconsciously had to slow down a little bit when John uh, had his incident. I think probably I gave it a little bit of a breather there on the throttle. The rest of the lap were pretty good though, so Thanks. Thank you. hopefully half decent lap. Oh, it's Ruben.
P8, Robert Simpkins, about four seconds up the road. I always think as though the bus stop I'm a bit slow and I can make up, I can improve on it, but I just don't want to risk it too much, the bus stop, and clip one of those curbs a little bit too hard and it will be curtains, really. Thank you. That was Robert who I was trying to catch. I was catching him. Again, could it be pressure? I just don't know, do you really? It looks like he may have uh, damaged his car fairly badly, so I think he might be just towed. Is a shame for him, for sure. Puts me up another place. Alvaro, seven seconds ahead. Well, let's see if we can try and put some pressure on him by trying to lap as well as we can and smooth as we can. Fifteen laps gone in the books. Ten to go, I think. Oh my goodness, another one. Am, am I pressuring these people or everyone that's in front of me? I'm not doing anything to these guys, honestly. It's everyone that's in front of me. <laughs> I don't know if it's me pressuring them, I don't know. That was a freebie, was it? Literally, it, the last three have been the car in front of me. Well, I just hope I don't, Hour. I really do. I'm just going to try and be smooth to the finish now, really. I mean, there's no chance of on pace to catch in Miguel is 12 seconds up the road you never know I guess just got to be as consistent and smooth and as possible John's pace is very good so if I let, let off a, a little bit he's going to be right on me Wow, P6, is that incredible? Come on. 
John's got someone right behind him that sees us still. Uh, or closing in anyway. Keeps getting closer and then just pulling away a little bit from him. Oh, low end back marker coming up. You see? In the throttle pad. Oh, two back markers in front hopefully fingers crossed we'll get past cleanly is that any issues Evening Mike, how you doing? Hope your hockey went well. Hope you're not too uh, sore and uh, stiff. I guess you don't really know sometimes until the next day. That's what happens sometimes. That's what used to happen with me with football. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, AJ. Ah, okay. Hmm. Well, with um, it's a, been a bit of a strange one, really. I, I went easy at the start because there were people flying into diving in a little bit, and then sometimes when you someone dives in, then you then you've got the next guy coming at you because you're wrong-footed, a little bit slowed down which is a bit annoying sometimes. But we managed to get back past all these people with them, uh, pretty much most of these guys that did that, sticking it in the hedge. Um, and the uh, second half of the race has been a bit strange. I've been saying to chat and kind of myself that I just need to keep it smooth and keep, try and keep pressure on so the guy's ahead. Three times on the trot I've said that and one lap later on each occasion the guy in front has uh, had an incident. It's kind of been a bit of a a mind punt moment, really. Very strange. But I don't think it will happen to Miguel. Um, I'm P5. Was I P6 before? Hmm. I'm sure I was P6. Interesting. But yeah, I'm sure Miguel will be okay. And ten seconds ahead, I'll 
Just going to try and make it. Oh, it's getting dark, isn't it? I missed the apex a little bit there. Went a bit late. A bit deep. But uh, hopefully Miguel will... Won't get the mine punt. Or maybe he will. John's keeping me honest, though. He's been under five seconds behind me for a while. Oh, this is Caesar. Caesar and John are battling. Just noticed, but I couldn't really head into a corner there. Caesar and John having a good battle for sixth and sixth place. Yeah, it's like a guy called Ruben, a guy called Robert, and a guy called Alvaro. Like within a not many laps of each other, really. All the all of them were the car in front of me. Bizarrely, just after I mentioned I need to pressure them to keep them honest, and boom. So not been lapped yet. Fuel in the car for another seven laps. So plenty. I always think that there's a chance I get I could get uh, lapped. Of course. I see Macintosh, 14th, there he is. First time I've seen Macintosh or Spear, always. I don't know where they are. But they they both didn't qualify, so... The issue is... My goodness. What happened to Justin there? Did he get stuck on a sticky hedge? But of course, they, they chose not to qualify, so... Eh, they've got all the guys slowing them down. Well, quite a few of the guys slowing them down that did qualify that are slower than them. That's the only drawback. <coughs> so there we go, Macintosh is 14th, so Spear must be 13th or better. Come on. John's got Caesar back. Oh, that must be a great, uh, great one to watch. Of course, you can watch it by going to My Turn Racing on Twitch. Good old dice there. But of course, also I want you to stay here on Ben Summers 1971, of course. Can actually watch either, both both uh, Twitch streams um, at a later date, uh, e see later this evening if you want to see any of the action earlier. Uh, also, you can, in the next... Tomorrow I'll have my video out of this race. Uh, John probably not far afterwards. He normally gets it out a day or so after as well. Both will be on YouTube. Our, our relevant, our uh, respective YouTube channels. Just got to keep it going for the last uh, few laps or so here. And not, uh, not go over too many curbs like that. Some curbs you just cannot hit really. They just throw you, couldn't can throw you off quite easily. Out of turn one is a prime example. If you get right up on that curve in this car, it spits you out into the barrier. Caesar and John though having a massive battle. Hopefully it's nice and fair. Should be. John's back in that position at the moment. Maybe we'll, maybe um, I wonder if they're drafting. Cause you can draft a bit in this car, I think. So. And they're very similar pace, I think, as I am. Oh, is that a is that a freebie for Spear and Macintosh there in the pits? P8. It could be a. Yeah, that's probably a, uh, a that's probably a, that's the that's the curb. You can't get on that too much. Knocks you fly in that curb. Yeah, so that's that looked like a freebie for Spear and Macintosh. That's good. Not just behind me, so not not a freebie for me. Ah, this Spear. P12 on the uh, in front of Macintosh there. Both those guys are beating their car number, as myself and John are. 
We've all beaten our car numbers. It's been a, if we can all hang on now and keep these positions, it's been a great, would be a great uh, result, really. I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm looking forward to next week. Next week's track is a track that oh, I never used to, I used to avoid because I, I thought it was too tricky. And I, you guys might think, what the hell are you talking about, Ben? It, because it's Alton Park. Um, and I, I was kind of late to the party of Alton Park. So, but I had to learn it for my, uh, when I, I think it was a, a set of calls, so the, career mode I had to learn it then and then I raced it in iRacing as well but it's not easy I think I've subsequently raced it in uh, Autumn Vista 2 as well but um, yeah that's next week I think so that will be a I don't know I don't know if I'll be quick there I have to do a lot of practice for Autumn Park I think in this car never ever I don't think uh, uh, lap to Autumn Park in this car I don't believe I think John's finally settled the sixth place argument with uh, Caesar. Sixth place battle. Looks like uh, Spear is now P11. I think McIntosh will get that freebie and be up to P13 next time round. Must be a lap behind Spear. That corner, you don't really feel it. It's off camber, and you don't really get the feel for it. Is this white flag? I haven't been really checking the laps. We've either, oh, it's white flag. Yeah, I think so, Howard. Difficult to overtake at uh, Alton Park. Now, Ben, do not, and I repeat, do not go for the fastest lap of the race here. Please don't beg of you. This is where I always struggle with my brain. I wrestle with my brain for whether I want to get faster slap at the end of the race and of course I don't. I'm happy as it is. I would rather bring home the position than fastest lap on the last lap. Please Ben. Set a good result. Set a, set a good lap on the last lap. Yeah, but don't go mad, Ben. I'm telling myself off now. Right. Okay. So there we go. I've definitely breathed more breathers than. There's no way I can get past this lap now. So let's bring it home, Ben. This will be an absolute fantastic result if I can just make the last few corners or so. Car number 12, currently P5. Last turn, don't mess it up now. Yes, come on. P5, ah. Oh. P5 Ben, well done mate, well done. Ah, oh. over the moon with that. P5 and P6. Ha! Never would have expected that. Where's the boys? They were both in front of me. I think they were uh, 11th and 13th. But of course that's the problem when you start at the back. You've got to go through the slower people that qualify. And you lose a lot of ground sometimes at the start. It'll bite the big, big grids especially. Yeah, but yeah. You went back. What happened at the start? Cause you were miles back. Well, I mean, I mean, check obviously check my YouTube video tomorrow. Of course, um, <laughs> great everyone. And what, what was the address again? Uh, yeah, it's lots of letters and numbers. 
<laughs> but if you search for Ben Summers 1971, it does come up. Oh, yes, yes. But anyway, um, yeah, I, it basically what happened was um, I had a few people diving in on me and I just I was wanted to keep my car clean and I just did not want to go out Let at go, all. Yeah. So, I, I mean, side by side, someone or, or I was ahead, but when they get they dive in, in the corner, I go wide and then the next one dives in the next corner. It sometimes gets tricky. That's but bonkers, Ken in 13th, though. Yeah, I don't know. He's, he, he's, it looks like he was definitely a lap behind Spear, so he must have had an instant. But, uh, oh, OK. But he still top half um, and beat his car number, so he probably got high rating. But as I say, the, it's not easy when you start at the back um, and don't qualify, because you, there's quite a few qualifiers that had probably a lot slower than Ken and uh, yeah, definitely. Spear. Wow. Yeah, the good old dice. I kept looking in the mirror at the, at the relative, you and Caesar. Did you, did you overtake each other about five times? I don't seem like it. How did you do that spin? Did you uh, get stuck on the curb, the hooks on that curb on the left? We're done. Get going. Oh, that was that was brilliant. What's your that tire wear like, though, Ben? Hang on, just gonna go in the garage and have a look. Uh, Seventy-four left front, seventy-eight right front. Uh, 69 left front, 77 right front, so I was a bit harder ah. than you. Any lock-ups, as far as you know? Um, I had a spin. Um, ah, that might have... Not, not flat-spotted, because you don't get flat-spots in this game, but... No, uh, they yeah. would have been 50 pence pieces, though, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I'm going to go and have a look at the... Uh, oh, if you hold fire for a moment, I will send people your way. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Here are the results of today's race here at Watkins Glen in the Lotus 79. Uh, there we go. Myself uh, started uh, car number 12, started in 10th, finished in 5th. We had a few um, a few freebies along the way, but uh, take that indeed. Uh, no instant points. Uh, 66 I rating. Oh my goodness, we're at 2K. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. We've got about 2K and uh, got a bunch of... Uh, safety back john uh six instant points he had a little bit of a spin there uh gained 68 i rating himself and lost a little bit of safety unfortunately well i mean spear and uh mcintosh still finishing the top half um i don't know how those races went on but they didn't qualify so they had to stick they were stuck behind sort of the slower cars uh yep we move on to alton park see you next week for that one